Hi everyone. Now I am teaching semantic analysis. Semantic analysis in the both UGC NET exam and uh, GATE exams. Both the exams has syllabus as given. Semantic analysis. Semantic analysis. And now I am teaching UGC NET exam syllabus. Attribute grammars. Attribute grammars. An attribute grammar is a formal way. Formal way that means it is a rules by to define attributes for the production of a formal grammar associating these attributes with values whenever in the production rules has given just like A equal to B plus C into D and B has denoted some value, C has denoted some value, D has denoted some value. It is called the attribute grammars. Attribute grammar that means variable we generate the parse tree just like if this grammar has given this one first will convert to the tree address code. Why? Because it is has given four address variable for one, two, three, four. So first you have to convert to the three address code just like t1 equal to c into d then t2 equal to t2 equal to b plus t1 and then a uh, t3 equal to t3 t3 no t2 equal to this one then afterwards uh, a equal to t1 uh, sorry t2 t2 is final so then a equal to t2 this is the three address code now this three address codes we will generate a parse tree so first c into d it's generated by the t1 and then now t2 will generate b plus t b plus t1 it's generated by the t2 yes and then t2 equal to a it's equivalent to a this is the parse tree and from the, this parse tree whenever we are coming b and then b will generate the suppose value 4 so this is the attribute value b has attributed of this value and then b will b will take in the b's value will take t2 this is called the attribute value so attribute grammar attribute grammar that means Syntax directed translator, syntax directed definition has used the attribute grammar. That means whatever Cynthia Downs values has given, that one we will go and store the values of that. Just like B has denoted by the 4, so that B value equal to 4 and then B will annotate it by the some other variables. So these are called the attribute grammars. Now syntax directed definition. Syntax directed definition is a generalization of context free grammar context free grammar in the uh, lexical analysis we are using only the regular grammars regular languages okay and here syntax directed definition we will use it context free grammar in which each grammar each grammar symbol has an associative set of attributes every grammar associated has a set of attributes attributes that means Every parse tree has annotated by the value. These are the attributes. Partition into two subsets called the synthesized and inherited attribute. Synthesized and inherited attribute of that grammar symbol. Syntax directed definition has two types. Syntax directed definition has two types. One is synthesized. Another one is inherited. Synthesized attribute will take the value from its children. Take the value from its children just like A equal to B, C. A as a parent, that means left side whatever is given, it's the parents. And B and C are children of A. So then A can take the value of B as well as C. Inherited attribute. Inherited attribute, it will take the value from parents and sibling from parents and sibling same here also a equal to bc c can take the value from b and a 
because A is a parent and B is his her sibling. If B will take the value from C and as well as A also, so inherited attributes will take the value from parent and sibling. And synthesized attribute only take from its children. That means from right side. Okay, so this is the syntax directed definitions. And then afterwards we will, uh, I will explain afterwards in the syntax directed translation (SDTT). Okay. Now we will see dependency graph. Dependency graph, the independencies. And dependencies among the inherited and synthesized attribute at, at the nodes in a parse tree. Synthesized and inherited attributes at the nodes in a parse tree can be depicted by a directed graph. Directed graph is called a dependency graph. Directed, just like suppose E has evaluated Q, B, as then it is evaluated to another. So then suppose uh, A has given here, then V has given, then afterwards A B will come like this. So that times A is evaluated first from V and then V's value is evaluated to E. So this is the dependency, dependency to each other. So that is why interdependency among the inherited and synthesized attribute inherited Inherited that means it will take the attributes from parent as well as sibling. Whenever we are talking about inherited only. So that times inherited means we are accepting the attribute value from parent. Just like E is here parent as well as sibling V or S. If we are talking about synthesis, synthesis means parent Parent will take the attribute from value from B as well as L. That means it is the children's value. But whenever L attribute, we are talking about the L attribute. That means it will take the attributes value from parent or left sibling. You remember that whenever we are talking about inherited, that means will take the attributes from parent as well as sibling. Okay. So here it's dependency graph. Dependence that means it depends. When it dependency graph, that is depends the graph to another attribute, that is the, at the nodes, nodes, that means suppose E is a node, V is a node, S is a node, in a parse tree, parse tree, this is the parse tree, can be depicted by a directed graph called dependency graph. It will be values will be dependencies to other one, it is called the dependency graph. Now, evolution order, evolution order, it is a topological sort of a directed or cyclic graph. This graph we are talking about, it is a topological hierarchical, okay, hierarchical order. A cyclic graph is any ordering of the nodes, that means nodes is any order of the graph such that edges go from edges, edges, that means this is the edges, wait, I am changing the color. This is the edges, this one, E can go to V, E are go, going to S also. So this is the edges. This is the edges and this one is nodes. So that nodes of the graph such that edges go from nodes earlier in the ordering to later node. That means nodes are going to earlier in the ordering to the later. This is the evaluation order. Evaluation order that means we are showing through the parse tree nodes and edges. And it is the topological sort. Whenever we are parse tree, we will generate it is definitely topological sorts you can say that and it is the any order and you can say that it is the tree form also okay 